Hello everyone. This is the fifth question of exercise 12.1 and in this question we have to fill these blanks. This is the blank one, two and three. And later on we have to tell that are these ratios equivalent or not means they are equal or not. So first of all, as you can see that it is not in its simplest form. So first of all, we will convert this is it in its simplest form. So three five times and three six times. That means it is five by six equals to dash dash dash. Now you know that these two are equal. So if this is 6 and this is also 6, that means that this should also be 5. Now, we will compare supposingly these two. This is 10. It will come 10 when we will multiply this 5 will with 2. So, if we have to multiply 2 with 5, we will have to multiply 2 with 6 also. So that there is no difference. Example, if I am writing it 5 upon 6 or if I am writing it into 2 upon 2, that is 10 upon 12, there is no difference because we can cancel this out with 2, 2 5 times 10 and 2, 6 times 12. So here also we will do the same thing. We have to make this 5 10, so we will multiply it with 2. Similarly in the denominator, we will multiply this 6 with 2. So this will be, we multiply it with 2. So this will be 12. Now, for example, we will again compare this 5 upon 6 and this. So we have to make it 30 in the denominator. That means we have to multiply 5 with 6. So if we have to multiply 5 with 6, we will have to multiply 5 with 5 also. What I am saying is, this is 5 upon 6. We have to make it 30. So we will multiply it with 5. So if we are multiplying this term with 5, we have to multiply this term with 5 also. So there is no difference because they can be cancelled out. So that means it will be 25 by 30. So in the denominator we got 30, so in the numerator it will be 25. Now, if you want to bring them in its simplest form, it will be 5 upon 6, 5 upon 6, 5 upon 6 and 5 upon 6. All of them are equal, that means they are equivalent ratio. This is how we can solve this question. Thank you.